guys and welcome back to my channel so today I thought I'd do a bit of a day in the life of me done my morning yoga so that's fine and now I need to pop off to Tesco because someone my flatmate that's the opposite me has stolen all my kitchen roll this will be fun to see how everything changes in the shops because of coronavirus So let's go shopping. And this is the look for Tesco. Can see how brown my ankles are. Basically, I tried to do this perfect tan. And it worked almost. It's gone really patchy now. I did it about a week ago. Just because I'm going out tonight. As you can see from my sparkly dress. I'm going out tonight to a law ball. I'm very excited. But you can see how the tan's wearing off everywhere. And then my ankles are just super brown. Good luck tonight. So I just got back from Tesco and it was one of the most hectic experiences of my life. So most of the shelves are empty. If they played to the staff, they were doing a good job in like keeping everything, trying to keep everything stocked up. But I took some pictures. So you can see all these pictures now. It is super, super hectic. There was like nothing there. All the shelves were empty. All the tills were absolutely full. I kind of forgot it was a Saturday as well. I thought midday, you know, it should be fine. But it wasn't. But I did buy some nice stuff. The one thing I don't understand as well is with coronavirus, I get there's a panic about it. I think the media's just been in a bad light to be honest. Like, I'm guessing the cold and the flu started out like this. But, I don't know. But then I've seen the Sylvia Brown book as well. Or the Sylvia Byrne. Sylvia Byrne? Sylvia Brown. And that's a bit creepy. But I don't understand is that with hand wash and things like that, People are going to buy in loads of them. Wouldn't they have some already? Like, I'm not going out buying loads of hand wash or anything like that. And I'm not criticising. But, did people not wash their hands before? So I've got some kitchen towel. I bought a little clip for my hair for later. My hair for later. hidden socks because I've got some really cute shoes that need hidden socks. I got these from New Look and they are super cute but I need hidden socks for them and I didn't have any. Play black socks for work tomorrow. Kitchen foil because just like with a kitchen roll people in the flat decide to steal it which means that I need to buy a new one. I also bought this really cute pack from Tom that was £12.50 and isn't it just the cutest thing ever? I used to have one ages ago, way back when. And it used to be my go-to outfit, it'd be that. Black jeans and little cute booties. And I feel like I can go back to this. I had to get rid of it though because it was too small on me. The platform started by here rather than by here where it should. Well actually. Yeah, it started by there instead of by here. But this is just super cute, look at that. Kind of the little frill detail. So, that was my splurge of the day. But I didn't buy any chocolate, so that was fine. I also got pasta. Because mum told me to buy pasta. So I bought pasta. And that was actually on the top shelf, so I had to ask one of the staff members to pick it off for me. But there's only two left so after I took that one he was like yeah yeah I'll get it for you now I've got that one and then someone else instantly saw it and was like yes that's mine thank you I just really don't get it like I get it just in case you're quarantined and things like that but if I was ill I wouldn't really want to be cooking pasta chicken soup that's what you should be going for my, my aunt even said I don't get why all the like pasta rice and things like that are going out of stock instead of chicken soup because chicken soup heals everything but you know Maybe that's the secret that no one knows. And then finally, I bought a hairspray that has argan oil in it because for my hair later, I did want to buy exfoliator, but there was only one and I didn't really fancy it. It had a weird smell. But if you do know of any exfoliator that can help me get rid of this and this and all of that ready for tomorrow, I got my loofah, so that's fine. Just scrub it a bit. 
um, if you know of one, preferably for sensitive skin, maybe not, let me know in the comments down below because that would be so much help. Thank you. Yeah, now I'm going to do a bit of study because that's always fun and I need to keep on top of my grade. And while I'm studying, please enjoy this little montage of pictures from Tuscarina. <laughs> study about an hour ago then I did my hair ready for my law ball and now we're gonna move on to makeup and I do have a really nice clip I put my clip in I don't know if you can see that but I put my clip in and yeah now we're gonna get ready and put makeup on ready for later so I've got my makeup done up and I messed up on my eyes but with dealing with it and I'll just go and do my dress now. So I finished getting ready finally. It took only like three hours but that's fine. And now Cinderella. It's finally off to the ball. See you again next week. Thank you for watching. Bye!